Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's video. We are talking about some things that might help you if you are new to healthier, whole food, plant-based eating. I recently heard from some friends of mine in my private Facebook group that they feel a little confused sometimes or a little overwhelmed by new unknown ingredients in recipe ingredients lists. As you start diving into whole food plant-based eating, yes, there are gonna be some things that maybe have been unfamiliar to you, so you might be a little curious of what are these ingredients, where can I find them, and how do I use them? So I'm gonna do a little bit of a series on these. So today we're talking about tahini, but if there's other ingredients that you have noticed on ingredients lists and you're just kind of leaving it out or you're avoiding those recipes altogether, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below or send me a message. What ingredients would you like to learn more about? I've already heard and I'm planning on talking about miso and we're going to talk about even some tofu, but is there anything else out there that you haven't really dove into yet that you want to learn more about? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. So, if this is your first time seeing these videos, welcome. I'm Danielle. I'm a national board certified health and wellness coach and I'm a plant-based nutrition educator. And we do these videos every single week and this is all about supporting you in figuring out how to upgrade your nutrition to a more whole foods, plant-based way. And it's something that I'm really passionate about of helping you make it simple and easy. We also talk about prioritizing your self-care and looking at that holistic, uh, healthy lifestyle approach to get you the life that you really want to enjoy. So thanks for being with me. We're going to dive in. Here's my tahini. Just pulled it out of my fridge. Uh, and this is something that I had never heard of before. Definitely had to Google it three years ago when I started eating plant-based. And um, yeah, so I'm going to share with you what I've learned and how I use it and all that good stuff. Maybe tell you a few stories along the way too. So um, I think the first time I came across tahini was when I started making hummus. And again, hummus was brand new to me. I didn't even know what it was. So hopefully you guys are a little more experienced at life than I was at this point. Um, but yeah, so hummus is very commonly, uh, it very commonly calls for tahini. So what is tahini? It is a, and you can even see it on the container, it is a sesame seed paste, okay? Or a sesame seed butter, you could say. So if you've been buying like natural peanut butter, the idea there, it's just peanuts, it's ground up, and maybe there's a little bit of salt added. Um, that is definitely included in a whole food plant-based approach to nutrition, and tahini is really not much different than that. So um, it's sesame seeds, it's simply, they're usually roasted and um, ground into a paste, and I'll even open this up a little bit. And you can Google this um, if you haven't seen it yet, but it kind of looks like a peanut butter. Um, so a uh, couple things to look for when you grab this. You do want to get a tahini that really, uh, you always want to flip it over and look at the ingredients. Um, and this has organic sesame seeds and some salt. So I'm always looking for minimal ingredients, the most natural, wholesome ingredients I can find. So that is what you want to find as well. What we don't want is tahini that has additional added oil, okay? Because now we're getting into the processed food world and we just don't need all of that excess calories. So this is just those whole sesame seeds ground up and ready for us to use. Okay. So how do you use it? Why would you use it? Um, so when you use it in hummus, it's really there to um, make it a little richer and a little um, robust on the flavor because anytime we're using nuts and seeds or nut and seed butters, um, that those are naturally high in fat, right? But guess what? This is a healthy fat. This is okay because if you've hung out with me for a while or you've learned much about plant-based nutrition, you know that a healthy fat is a whole food that happens to be high in fat, okay? So knock yourself out with those whole foods that are a little higher in fat. Um, those are okay, but we want to stay away from the oils and stuff. That's a video or an episode for another day. Um, so we we add this to make it rich and creamy 
and um, just kind of add that flavor, right? So um, another recipe that I very commonly use tahini in, which is why I keep this in my rotation, in my pantry, actually in my fridge, is my gravy. Um, there is a gravy recipe and it's in my um, four week meal plan. It's available on my website, but I use that gravy for Hawaiian haystacks and I also use it when we make mashed potatoes and gravy. So that is definitely a favorite in our house. So we have to keep tahini on hand so that I can make that. Um, yeah, so those are the two or three recipes that I use tahini for. If you are a veteran of eating this way, I would love to hear from you. What recipes do you use tahini for? Let us know. Um, but let me share with you a couple things about this. So since it is just um, sesame seeds and it's ground up, it does not have any stabilizers or preservatives in it, so it will naturally separate, okay? So when you open this up the very first time, it is going to have a layer of the natural oils that have separated from that ground sesame seed and come to the top. So you do just wanna get a butter knife and just kind of work that in and stir that until it looks like a nice creamy, almost peanut butter consistency, okay? Quick tip, do not buy this and then put it directly into your refrigerator. Um, open it up, stir it first, and then refrigerate it, okay? I've made that mistake before, and then when it's cold and right out of the fridge and it hasn't been stirred, it's really hard to mix. So do that before you put it in the refrigerator. Okay, where to find this ingredient? This um, is where I'll share a little story with you. I, so me and my family, we went plant-based in January of 2017. Um, so at the time of this recording, that was about three years ago. And it took me probably a good three months um, to really fully transition to start letting go of a lot of our processed foods, a lot of our um, animal products in our foods, and start exploring with new recipes and um, really focusing on those wholesome plant-based meals. So um, definitely some recipes came across my radar that had tahini in them. Now, if you're like me, you kind of have your routine of grocery shopping. You go to the same store, you, you walk the same path, you grab the same things. So making this switch definitely was tricky for me. And you know, again, if you're like me and you've got kids at your feet and in the shopping cart and mom can I have this mom can I have that it can be super stressful and overwhelming to try to like explore a new part of the store and try to find this new unknown ingredient so I will tell you I am doing you a huge favor right now of telling you where to find this in the grocery store because for me um, there were two different stores I would go to and they actually keep them in totally different places okay so um, here locally I go to one grocery store that keeps this on the Asian or the ethnic food aisle and it's usually over there with um, like yeah kind of the Asian foods so you could find it there now um, there's I think it's Kroger or Smith's where I go or Fred Meyer wherever you are in the country um, they keep their tahini next to the peanut butter okay so go find the aisle where the peanut butter and the honey and the jelly is and you will find tahini on that aisle so you're welcome those are the two places to check um, hopefully that saves you some time and some stress okay uh, third option and especially if you know you like to order your groceries and whatnot you can totally find tahini on Amazon okay no big deal you can just have it delivered to your door so that's cool all right um, I think I covered it so again I would love to hear from you guys what other ingredients um, are you still kind of curious about or maybe a little confused or overwhelmed by or if you're a veteran what are some of those new ingredients um, that you started to add into your repertoire that now are really staples in your home I'm excited to continue to share more of these with you, so be sure to check back with me next time. And yeah, if you want more videos like this, you can find these in a few places. You can come and join us in my private Facebook group, um, Healthier Living. 
with Danielle Dinkelman. I'd love to see you in there. We do lots more than just these videos. We've got a lot of things going on every single day, really supporting you in creating a healthier lifestyle for you and your family. So come on over there or find me on YouTube. Again, Healthy Living with Danielle Dinkelman, or you can follow me on Instagram at dd.healthcoach. I'd love to see you and connect with you and hear from you guys. So good luck as you continue to maintain or upgrade to a healthier lifestyle. And I hope you get all of the results that you want out of those healthy changes. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.